So we've uh, you know, opened the door, open the box. So we just cut it through here. Now that we got that ready, we're just going to fold that over like that, and you should have all your parts in here. So, as you see, it's packed pretty well, so I recommend that we get rid of all the packing, and uh, that'll give yourself uh, a little bit of room and uh, uh, better vision of all the parts. So, now that we've got the packing removed and out of the way, I recommend that uh, the first thing you do is find the hardware kit. It's going to have the instructions in it. Set it where you need it. You're going to need that next. The other thing I recommend doing is uh, taking all the packing off of all the parts and then get them laid out. Okay, now we've got all our parts laid out on the table. Kind of a key to doing this is to make sure that you lay all your parts out in uh, like items. For example, the, sh the short braces, the long braces, and then there's three different legs that you got to lay out. So lay them out accordingly and then the other braces. We have the weather vane, we have the wheel, uh, and then we have the, uh, the fin itself. So if you get it all laid out, it's going to make your job a whole lot easier. Okay, so <clears throat> we take one of each leg, lay it out. The top piece is the one with the four holes and a single hole at the bottom. Each piece overlaps the other piece like you're putting on a roof shingle. So this is the top piece. You overlap it where the indentation was. You uh, put the bolt through there and then you just loose, you don't tighten them up, but just get, get a nut started on the back. And you move past the middle point, same, same thing, the indented part goes underneath. And the bottom part is identifiable by the large uh, hole in the bottom. That hole is for the stakes when you stake it down in your, in your yard or wherever you're going to put it. So let me get this going and then we'll, we'll uh, go to the next step. Oh, you'll have to uh, repeat this four times and then we'll go to the next step. So the tools you're going to need for the legs, uh, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a 5 16 uh, wrench. And uh, all you do is you tighten them down and, uh, and that's after you get them, uh, just don't really tighten them tight until we're at the final stage. You just want to get them snugged up enough to, so that you don't have to fight with them. Okay, now we've got the four legs assembled and we're going to start the construction of the unit. We're going to take the masthead and we're going to bolt it all four legs onto that and we're going to bolt them on loosely. Uh, one little thing to remember is as you put in the entire unit together, uh, always push the bolts so that the nuts go on the inside. That way uh, it looks nice and then that keeps anybody from uh, actually cutting themselves on the end of the bolt. So we just go like this, we go there, and we loosely assemble the nut on the inside. And as you do that, uh, then we're going to repeat that four times. Okay, now that we've got the masthead mounted, uh, we go ahead and stand it up and kind of get it spread out a little bit, and we're going to put the platform on. So uh, the platform, uh, the flat part goes up, and the bolts go down. You just simply go over the masthead, down the legs, and then let it rest there. The next step is going to be putting the bracing in. Okay, so now uh, we've got the platform above there. We're going to take the cross braces. There should be 16 of them that are all the same length. And we're going to apply them on there. The, the, kind of the little trick to this is just to get them started and let them hang as you get them going. Again, we're not tightening any bolts yet. We're just getting them in there and uh, so that uh, we can... Uh, tighten them up at the end and then everything has enough flexibility so that we if we have to move it a little bit to get something started we can uh, go ahead and put the other one on there and just let it hang uh, that's a kind of a neat little trick uh, for doing down the road uh, you're going to appreciate that okay so now we've got the top cross braces all hanging off of the uh, platform 
and uh, we're ready to install the next braces. You're going to see that this next round is going to have a brace that goes straight across and the cross brace will tie into the same spot as does the bottom one. So what we're going to do is uh, we're, going to take, uh, we're going to take the long cross brace and uh, put the short um, horizontal brace on there. Then we're going to grab the one that's going to cross. We're going to stick it in there. And then we're going to go right into the pre-drilled hole and then put the nut on the back and leave it loose so that uh, we can get to it. Okay, so now you've done that four times. So this is how it should look uh, when you're getting ready to put the bottom longer horizontal brace on the unit. So as you can see, we still got everything uh, not tightened. All the nuts are still loose so we can move it around. And then I like to put the horizontal brace behind the cross brace. So I'm just going to go down here, grab the, the brace, make sure it crosses. I'm going to put it in behind so you guys can see. I'm going to put it in behind the uh, cross brace. And then I just line the hole up and again, put the nut on there, but don't tighten it. Uh, you're going to like that. At, to do that all at the end that makes it a lot easier for you. So we get that part done, we come over here again, the cross brace I put on the outside and then the inner brace and line up the hole and put the nut on there, leave it loose and repeat that four times and then you're ready to go to uh, put on the, the uh, wheel. Alright, now the bottom braces are in you should all sides should have a cross brace should be nice and even and this is when you go ahead and start tightening it and I recommend to start at the top and tighten the screws as you go down so we're going to do that and then we're going to come back and work on the mast head and the uh, wheel okay so now we've got uh, our tower already built everything's tightened up so it's looking pretty good and we're going to move to the weather vane assembly um, just get a flat surface again, and again we're going to put it together with the bolts loose. Um, you have the uh, two sides of the vein braces. Uh, one's going to go here, and you line up the holes on that side, and then you put the top one on this side. You line up the holes, and you do the same here with the uh, vein head, and uh, then you go ahead and put the four bolts in there and uh, you tighten it, don't you can tighten it all up once you get it on there. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that and get that all lined up. Okay, so now the weather vane is assembled. We've got the, the fin, the bolts all tightened up, ready to go. And now we're gonna move to putting the wheel on it and then mounting it onto the tower. Okay, so we have the weather vane uh, all assembled and ready to be installed. But first I wanna show you, you can actually put this on either way. I always recommend the, uh, it has a serviceable greaser for the bearings. Put that to the outside so it makes it easier for you to, to uh, service this. So first thing you want to do is put one of the washers that's enclosed in the kit on there. It'll stop on the crimped part. Then you slide this through the bearings. And then you Use the other washer that's enclosed with the kit, and you'll see a hole in the uh, end of that uh, mask uh, weather vane rod. You put a carter pin through there, and then you just take a pair of pliers or your finger, bend it up, and you're good to go. We have the windmill uh, wheel attached to the vane, carter pin through it. Now we're going to take the uh, this will spin on a, the, up the last washer that you should have. Um, we just go up here, you put it in the mast head, and I just like to do it from the ground. Uh, I just line that up and I tip it in. And I got it. You'll have a carter pin that you will need to put through there, and you just reach up in there, slide it in like that. Bend it down and you're good to go.
Once you find the location that you're going to put it in, uh, the last thing you're going to need to do is anchor it. Uh, it comes with four anchors. You're just going to take it down here at the bottom section of each leg. You're going to drive it in there and you're going to drive it in with a hammer. Now we have our windmill completely assembled. It's going to be great for uh, putting in flower gardens, uh, using it for house number signs. It has a bunch of different uses. It's just a decorative windmill uh, and you can enjoy it for years and years.